So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't going to help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Are you shitting me? That officer freaked out and shot him! In front of me and Daniel! Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me! Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His or yours? Huh? Finn, it was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help, or did you go along with it? He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. Everything okay? That's just karma for what dragging Daniel into know this Daniel? shit. You know the rules, huh? <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Okay. Sorry, Hannah. <sighs> she lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. No, sir. Todavía fue en el hospital y... 
Sí. Sí. Mañana por la noche. Mi vuelo sale a las nueve. No. Le he dicho que no. Está todo el día con la Playbox. Pero no quiero que te den, por favor. Sí. Bueno, déjale. Vale. Sí. Mañana nos vemos. Un beso. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me, we want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Wanna tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs>